Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Dima. For those of you new to the channel, I am a professional travel photographer. A couple of weeks ago, me and my wife got COVID and we had to stay in quarantine at home. A good reason to get a new Fujifilm camera. An interesting side effect of COVID was that after two days of feeling sick, I started feeling very tired. The fever and other things went away, but I felt very tired. Even editing a couple of photos was exhausting, very weird, so after watching too much Netflix, I tried reading but could not concentrate, so I started to get bored. And like any bored photographer, I started looking at new gear. But a small voice in the back of my head said you already got a new camera and a bunch of lenses, stop what you are doing, you are going to regret it. I thought about what the small voice said and I said, yes, you are totally right. And then because at some point I wanted to get an old Fujifilm camera to see for myself if the colors of the X-Trans 1 and 2 are so much better than my X-D4s, I told the small voice, but what about old gear, cheap vintage looking old gear that works with our lenses and we can get to play with them around the house, stalk the neighbors and photograph tourists on their romantic vacation, of course all this from the balcony. After seeing my dilated puss in boots looking pupils from too much green tea, the small voice said, sure that seems reasonable. So I went online, started to do a bit of research about older Fujifilm cameras and then started to search for some models. And the first one I found was this Fujifilm XM1, which on paper sounds really good. 16 megapixels X-Trans 1 sensor. This is more than enough for online and social media sharing, even for some medium sized prints. As I always say, pair your camera with some good glass and you will not be disappointed. Oh, and it has a tiltable screen. A thing I miss the most on my Fujifilm X-T4. I know the X-T3 has one, but I love the IBIS and battery life more than a screen. All this for the amazing price of 100 euros and transport. I asked the small voice if it agrees and the voice said, it's okay, you have to spend all the money you've made with YouTube last year on something and you will still have some change for a coffee after buying this camera. Also tell people to like and subscribe. I could not believe my eyes when I got the camera, how small it is, the X-T4 looks and feels like a giant compared to the X-M1. But I was not surprised with the image quality, this camera really has some nice color science, I really need to compare this with the X-T4 at some point. All the photos in this video are straight from the camera JPEGs, look how good they look for a camera this old. Rich vibrant colors, good contrast and details, all this helped by the one and only Fujifilm 35mm f1.4 and the Travel King the 18-55. I know it doesn't have an EVF but for the price I don't mind it and the screen is bright enough to take photos outside. Oh, and it has a small flash that pops out if you press the back button. This can come in handy sometimes. It is a shame that Fujifilm doesn't make lightweight compact budget cameras like this anymore. Without the shutter and ISO dials, the Fujifilm XM1 may look like a point and shoot camera when it comes to control, but it is still a very customizable one. The top thumb wheel is dedicated to shutter speed, the back one to aperture and you can add the ISO to the function button. All this if you use manual mode. I started making this video when I was sick but finished it recently. First I didn't want to share it but it was time to try something different than my usual content on this channel. Depending on how this video does, I will make more. I want this to be the first episode of a mini-series about old Fujifilm cameras. I already got another new old Fujifilm camera and I'm looking for more. I did not have enough time to enjoy the XM1, but from what time I had, it is a really nice camera. And from what I saw online, it was very underrated. 
The image quality is very good. It has decent autofocus. You can pair it with Fujifilm's amazing glass, and it has that nice and bright tiltable screen for just 100 euros. That's a steal. I am going to make a video about this camera once I get the chance to test it more, not just around the house. Maybe I will take it on a trip with me and see how it holds up in 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel more, check out my presets pack, buy me a coffee or use the links in the description. And now, scenes from our next episode.